Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're talking about Jake Locker's NFL Draft Bust Analytics Data. In this series of videos that I'm doing on NFL Draft Bust, uh, we're essentially looking at what these players look like from a data perspective uh, to give some insight as to why they may not have lived up to the lofty expectations of their draft status. Um, and in this video, we're going to profile Jake Locker, quarterback out of Washington, in terms of why he may not have lived up to the expectations of being as high of a draft pick that he was. Uh, if you're new to the channel, new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. All that stuff out of the way, let's get to Jake Locker's uh, production date in terms of FBS production. Uh, high school wise, he had a pretty decent high school career, um, 87.55. In terms of his highest high school production score, which pretty much hits above the starting quarterback threshold and Pro Bowl quarterback threshold, but he didn't really develop much after that. Um, so high school production in many ways is just trying to judge how how uh, developed a player is coming out of high school. Um, and most of the great quarterbacks that go on to become NFL quarterbacks are really developed coming out of high school from a production standpoint. But Jake Locker was that but he just didn't do much of it at the at the at the uh, fbs level his highest fbs score was only 70.05 out of 100 didn't hit the he hit above the starting quarterback threshold but didn't really hit the pro bowl quarterback threshold and i think the other concerning thing with jake locker was just his career data um his career fbs score is 52.45 out of 100 he did not hit the all pro career threshold or pro bowl career threshold in terms of the position and not only that uh, when you look at the averages at the position um He's well below what the All-Pro career average is, well below what the Pro Bowl career average is, and well below what the starting career average is in terms of his um, FBS production score. So, you know, Jake Locker is someone that definitely was pretty developed coming out of high school, but didn't really do much after that. And unfortunately, all that contributed to inconsistent seasons uh, at Washington. And of course, um, not becoming the quarterback that the Tennessee Titans thought he was going to be um, because uh, in many ways, Jake Locker was a you know a top ten uh, overall selection. So, um, bottom line is when it comes to uh, Jake Locker and the other sort of data is that he just didn't live up to the expectations because he was just not um, that great of a quarterback to begin with coming out from a production standpoint. Um, so this should just serve as a lesson that don't take quarterbacks in the top ten who put up 52 career production scores. <laughs> Uh, you know, overall, um, try to get guys that are actually above average in terms of how they performed, um, or at least significantly bo bo above average in terms of how they performed in terms of uh, college football. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at DraftCoburn at WordPress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded when another video of mine drops and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.